Well, thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by newkibio.com. Newkibio.com, that's our website. So in this video, I'm gonna focus on how to handle refund on a debit card, debit card from a vendor that's downloaded the bank deposit and bank fit. How can I sign that credit to the same project? So that's the focus of this video. So let's get started. So here's our website, newkibio.com. That's our website, newkibio.com. So I'm gonna to go to QuickBooks Online. So it's QuickBooks Online, okay. Uh, and uh, let's say you bought some supplies and uh, uh, you later return it, uh, then the vendor uh, did the credit uh, to the same debit card account, all right? So when you go to, uh, let's say, plus the, I have a project in here, Okay, so we view it. So you bought some supplies for 55 bucks and you later return uh, uh, those supplies to the vendor. And if you go to banking, you will see, uh, you know, bank feed, uh, you see $55 as a deposit. So if you just do it from here, there's no way to uh, credit or apply this $55 uh, to the project. Okay, so uh, so that's the focus of this video. The first thing you want to do is uh, go to plus sign and you want to create vendor credit. Vendor credit. Okay, I'm going to create vendor credit as the vendor and account. You want to use the same account. Last time it was supplies account and amount 55 bucks and the project you want to apply. The same project is red bird, and if you have reference number, put that in. Okay, so once you save this, okay, I'm going to save this. So what that will do is will create uh, accounts payable credit. Okay, so in accounts payable, you will see uh, credit in here, okay? So now the next thing you want to do is, uh, now you can go to this uh, uh, bank feed. I'm gonna start from here. Okay, so bank feeds, dashboard and banking. All right, so here's the one, okay? So in this case, you know, there's nothing to match and you want to go to uh, find match in here from add, radio button switch to find match and then you will see a screen in here come all the way down scroll down and then you see resolve difference and go to underneath you will say add transactions new transaction in here see like this and now you can uh, uh, add new transaction so the pay is the same one the uh, pay is the uh, accounts payable one so make sure don't select the customer one. So the, uh, the vendor is the books by base C and the category. So this is the important one. Category you want to use is, is accounts payable, not the uh, uh, expense accounts, accounts payable. Because when you create a vendor credit, uh, it created accounts payable. So you want to apply the same accounts payable, just use accounts payable in here like this. All right, so memo, you can uh, write whatever you want. So refund on a debit card. So that's what it is, that's the transaction. Okay, there we go, $55, and then save it. So now, as you can see here, uh, it's disappeared from your bank feed, okay? So next thing you want to do is uh, uh, Go to the plus sign again, okay? And then you want to select pay bills. The reason is you want to apply that deposit or credit uh, to the same uh, uh, vendor credit. So you want to apply to this. So let's go to pay bills, although you're actually not paying it, but you want to clear uh, deposit and vendor credit. So pay bills are at the bottom. You'll see, see here, $55 sitting in here. All you have to do is just select this box 
and it's a zero, you know, in and out, and then save it. All right, so doing this, what will happen is if you go to your uh, project and I'm going to refresh this, you will see it's clear, right? So if you click it here, you will see both transactions in here. So it was in, it was uh, first one you you use debit card, and then the second one it's a deposit clear through accounts payable, and it's zero. Right? Okay. Back to report, and if you refresh it, it's you know uh, the total expense is zero. So anyway, uh, that's how you have to do uh, in QuickBooks Online when you have a refund on a debit card from a vendor. It's pretty straightforward now. Okay, hey, uh, just subscribe to our YouTube uh, channels. We have two channels, uh, youtube.com, VP Controller, that's the one you're watching. And we have another channel, youtube.com, forward slash QuickBooks QBO. QuickBooks QBO. Thank you. Bye.